Hey everybody, welcome to Colliding at Home. My name is DJ and for today we are going to talk about how tornadoes form. So to begin with, I want to explain exactly what a tornado is. So a tornado is a violently rotating column of air that is in contact with the surface of the earth and the clouds above. And to demonstrate that, I have this tornado in a bottle kit here and that is going to explain how the tornado actually forms. So inside this right here is a motor with a little propeller on the inside. And inside the bottle here, we have just normal water and we have some little styrofoam beads on the inside as well. So as I turn it on, the propeller is actually gonna start rotating and eventually the water inside is gonna actually rotate as well and then when the rotation is strong enough, you can actually see the funnel form and then actually the tornado drops down to the bottom. And as you can see, we have the beads floating around inside the bottle to create little debris to make it look, look, look a little more realistic. Now, in the case of a real tornado, you would see a rapidly rotating column of air that forms a funnel. And then that funnel will drop from the base of the cloud to the surface of the earth, just like you saw in the demonstration here. Now I'm going to talk about four important ingredients that you need to generate a tornado, much like you need certain ingredients to make a cake. You can remember these ingredients by knowing the acronym SLIM. So the S stands for shear, the L stands for lift, the I stands for instability, and M stands for moisture. Now shear is wind shear, which is the change in wind speed and direction with height. Lift is, of course, rising air. Instability acts as the fuel to keep the storms going. And finally, we need moisture. Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about tornadoes. Thank you for watching Colliding at Home. And remember to be safe when a tornado is approaching your area.